This first video, I'm going to show you how to join MS Teams via a web browser and via the app, and how to check your microphone and speakers that they're working on these two methods. We're going to check it on your PC and on the browser. As a teacher, I can see that Paolo and Banjo are waiting to come in. So let's move over to Banjo, who's going to join us on the app. Now, as he clicks join, you can see it says PC and speaker device, open device settings. He can click here and check which speaker and which microphone he is using. He's happy with those, and now he's going to join. Because he's on an app, he also has the ability to check via his icon, something which isn't available on the browser. So he can go to devices, and once again, he can either do a custom setup, or he can just simply keep to what he has. Banjo's in the room, so let's see the app version. And this is Paolo on the app version. Please make sure that you click on this join, the meeting that is already in existence. Sometimes people make the mistake of clicking here where it says meet. And they click meet now, and they're in a totally different meeting. One way you can know this is there is a number two here showing that two cameras are on or two meetings are going on. And you can see the icons that Paolo is alone. Please hang up and join the real meeting. Notice that Paolo can click Real Tech Definition icon here, and he can check his devices. He can have a custom setup, or he can just have the normal setup, which he wants. So let's join now. As he joins, unlike Banjo, if he clicks his icon and goes to Settings, he does not have the settings for the sound options. So the only way he can access them is if he clicks these three dots here and goes to show devices. You can do that anytime during this meeting. Now this is useful because what if your speakers are not working? Paolo's decided to buy these headphones. Now the headphones we're talking about are this pair here for five pounds or 27 slotty you have a microphone and a headset they work really well and it's easily affordable for anyone now when you connect them you have to tell the computer that they're connected so paolo's about to connect them now now that he's attached the headset he needs to click on this icon these three dots, click on show device settings and go to custom settings and decide, okay, I want to have the headphones as the speaker and have the headset as the microphone. He simply does that and now he will be able to hear and speak through his new device. The same goes for Banjo if he is on this channel. He can simply Go to the icon here, click on device settings, and also he can change it to this. And notice you can even check the mic. If I turn the mic on, one, two, one, two, one. you can see it go purple. So you can test yourself if it works. Okay, so he's done that. And remember, that he also has the additional option of checking the settings here in devices. Here, headset. One more thing you might need to check, just in case that is going wrong, make sure your speakers have accepted it as well. So if you go to find the speaker icon and go sound settings, you can see headphones, headset. And I have the choice to change that here as well. So this is a way to check it on your PC. 
and if you're not sure where it is if you go to the settings it's in systems and sound and then click on the sound and you can check if the microphone's working so if i talk into the mic like this you can see it bouncing up so it really works so there you have it there's one way to check your audio both on the browser and on the app but just before i go if I was to put these in my device, and I'm the teacher, some devices might not let you hear it. Watch what happens when I plug it in. In my device, I have the Realtek HD Audio Manager. And if I was to click headphones, I wouldn't be able to use the microphone. So you have to click headset. If you want to know where to get this from, Simply go to this web address, Realtek, I'll put a link down below, and simply download the audio file for your Windows. Now, you may be asked to, when you download it, to give an email address, but you can give any false email address. So here I accept the above. Email address can be any rubbish like this. And you just click download this file. They'll ask you to prove that you're not a robot, but then you can download it and you can install it. Make sure to write in the capture. And you can see I've started downloading it. I've already downloaded it before. I'm downloading it again. And then you just install it and you will have the ability to see this kind of window and give you that choice. So that's MS Teams, and I've just showed you how to use the browser and the app and attach your microphone and speakers to make sure you can be heard on MS Teams. Get ready for the next part where we talk about student rules and sharing your screen.